8. Today we're doing our second lesson on area. Today we're going on with some more different shapes for area. We're going to talk about the parallelogram. So this is a diagram of what a parallelogram looks like. To find the area of the parallelogram, you need to know the base and what we call the perpendicular height, which means that the two sides should be connected by a right angle, even though the height is not actually that sloping height of the parallelogram. Okay, so the formula is actually base times height, which is pretty much just like a rectangle, but it's also a parallelogram formula. So the next one we have is a rhombus. A rhombus is basically like a square that is usually the angles aren't right angles, it's been pushed over a little bit. But the formula that we have involves the diagonals. Okay, the diagonals of the um, rhombus we're going to call X and Y. To find the area of a rhombus with its diagonals, we go half of X times Y. And it's actually exactly the same formula for a kite. The X and the Y are again the diagonals and the formula for the area of a kite is also half X, Y. And the last shape we're going to look at today is a trapezium. Now a trapezium is any quadrilateral that has a pair of parallel sides. So we call the parallel sides the A and the B and H is the perpendicular height that goes between the two parallel sides. And the version of the formula that I prefer to use is this one here. Area is equal to H over two bracket A plus B close bracket. Okay, so let's practice with some of those formulas. So example number one, find the area of the following. Now this shape here is a parallelogram. Remember that the formula for a parallelogram is the base times the height. Now the base and the height must always be connected by the right angle. So it's the 15 and the 5 that we want. This 7 is just here to distract us. So substituting in area is 15 times by the height which is 5 and that is going to be equal to 15 times 5 which is 75 centimeters squared. Part B, that shape is also a parallelogram so area is equal to the base times by the height. The base and height are connected by the right angle. Now because that's a right angle there, geometry tells us that, that one there would also be a right angle. So the 50 and the 40. So 50 times 40, which is equal to 2,000 meters squared. Question C, you can see the parallel sides here. So this one is actually a trapezium. So the A and the B are the two parallel sides. It doesn't actually matter if you label them the other way around. And H is the height, the perpendicular height that goes between them. The formula for a trapezium is H over two bracket A plus B. Second step is to substitute into that formula. The height is three, so three over two bracket a is 7 and B is 11. And the third step is to calculate that. So using the fraction button, 3 over 2 times 7 plus 11. And that gives us 27 and the units are meters, so meters squared. Question D is also a trapezium, so you can see the parallel sides here. So the parallel sides are the 6.3 and the 13.5, so we're going to call them A and B. Now the H, remember, has to be the perpendicular height. So we need to find the right angles here. That means that that 8.4 is the H, and that 11 there is just there to trick us. So the formula for a trapezium is H over 2 bracket A plus B. Substituting into the formula, the height is 8.4, so that's over 2, bracket A is 13.5, and B is 6.3. Okay, and calculate. 
so 8.4 over 2 times 13.5 plus 6.3. So that's 83.16. And that's meters squared. Part E, again, this is a trapezium. You can see the parallel lines. So we have the A is the 10 and B I'm going to call 15. The 20 is the H, but be careful because that one's actually in millimetres. So I'm going to change that to be in centimetres like the others. 20 millimetres, if you divide that by 10, that's the same as 2 centimetres for the height. Now we can use our formula. The formula for trapezium is H over 2 bracket A plus B. Substituting in the height in centimeters is 2 over 2 bracket A is 10 and B is 15. All right and calculate. So 2 over 2 that's really just 1 times by 10 plus 15. So that makes 25 centimeters squared. Part F is a kite. Now the formula for a kite is half x y. Now the x and the y are the diagonals. Now I'm going to assume that 6 is the whole way across there and the 8 is the whole way across that diagonal. So all I need to do is substitute in. So half times 6 times 8. Or you could have gone half times 8 times 6. It doesn't matter the order that you write those down in. So half times 6 times 8 is 24. So A equals 24 centimetres squared. Okay, question 2. A parallelogram has an area of 26 metres squared and its base length is 13 metres. What is its perpendicular height? So if you like, you can draw a little diagram here to help you visualise what's going on. We know that the area of this parallelogram is 26 metres squared. Its base length is 13 metres, that would be that length across there. And we're trying to find the perpendicular height. So that's the one down here that's at right angles. Maybe I should draw, draw a dotted line down there. Dotted line at a right angle. That height. So the formula for a parallelogram is A equals base times height. Now the thing is that we've actually been told the area for this parallelogram and that's the 26. So 26 equals the base, which is 13, times the height, which I'm trying to find out, which is the h. So it could be 13 times h or just 13h for short. Now this is actually an equation and we want to find out what the h is. So to get the h by itself, we want to move that 13 away. So we need to little divide by 13 here to get rid of that. And h is equal to 26 divided by 13, which is 2 and the units are meters. So the perpendicular height of that parallelogram is two meters.